Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nigel, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the gear that I keep in my camera backpack on a typical day. And what you'll find is a lot of the gear that I take with me is actually pretty simple and not that expensive. So I think the first thing that we should talk about is my backpack. Now, this is actually a really cheap backpack that I got off of eBay. And the reason why I haven't really gotten anything, you know, better or that much more expensive is because I feel like I haven't really found that perfect backpack yet. And this one is as close as I've been able to come as far as like the perfect backpack. But yeah, well, I'm just gonna go through some of the outer pockets first. And right here we have the Joby Gorillapod. This is the 3K Pro. And I don't really use this for vlogging, but whenever I need to like set up a stationary camera somewhere, this really does well for that kind of stuff. Obviously it's pretty short, so I'd have to like, you know, rig it up on like a fence or something like that. But I always like having this with me just in case. And if we come over here to this one outside pocket, we'll see that I have two quick release plates. And this is just in case I need to rig out another piece of gear under my tripods or maybe rig out a different camera. Then the only other thing is I have these business cards. Now it's always good to have some business cards in your backpack and even in your wallet too, uh, just so you can network a little bit easier with anyone that you meet when you're out shooting. So I always have business cards with me. Now this backpack actually has a top compartment. And so there's this top compartment that is separate from the rest of the camera gear. And normally when I'm hiking, I'll keep like a windbreaker and some snacks and stuff like that in here. But if I'm going out with the intent on shooting some drone footage, I do have my little DJI Spark in here. Got the Spark, the two batteries, and then the controller. So this stuff fits up here really perfectly. And again, it's separate from the rest of my camera stuff. So before we get into the camera gear, I really wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different classes and film and video and photography and graphic design and so much more. So whatever it is that you're trying to learn more about, Skillshare is the place where you can go to improve your knowledge on that subject. One of my favorite classes that I took recently was iPhone filmmaking by Caleb and Niles over from Moment. I've been doing a lot more filming on my iPhone and it's been really cool to learn a lot more about the ins and outs of how to make a good video with your iPhone from two dudes who shoot on their iPhones as their job on a daily basis. So that's definitely a class that I would recommend. And what's really cool is that the first 500 people to click the link in the description are gonna get a two month free trial of a premium Skillshare membership. So definitely go check that out. Once again, big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to checking out the rest of the gear that's in my camera backpack. So this camera backpack has a hatchback design. So another thing that I like about this kind of a design is that when I put my camera back down and I'm in like the dirt or the mud or something like that, the part that's gonna be touching the dirt and the mud is not the part that I'm gonna be putting back onto my body. So this keeps me clean as well, which I really like. Starting off right here, I have some pretty generic earbuds whenever I need to monitor my audio. Right here, I have a lens blower. Little pro tip, if you're gonna be cleaning off your lens, it's always a good idea to give it a little blow with one of these so that any of the particles that are on the lens aren't gonna be scratching the lens as you wipe it. So always blow first and then do the wipe of your lens. A AA battery, which always comes in handy. And then this little multi-tool with my name on it. So let's get through the boring stuff first. Right here I have something that I always keep with me whenever I wanna make sure that my exposure and white balance is right. This is just a really cheap gray card. This also helps when you're using multiple cameras and you need them all to look the same as far as color goes. All right, next up we have my SD card case. That's just a really easy system that you can use. The ones that you can't see, those ones are full. The ones that you can, those are empty. So you're not gonna be accidentally formatting a card or something like that. This case is waterproof and shock resistant, so that's another nice little bonus. So next up is my battery case. Now my camera doesn't really run through batteries that much, but whenever I do need to change the batteries, I have two extras. And so typically when a battery is dead, I'll put the dead one in the left and the full one that was in the left into the right, and I'll take the one out of the right pocket and put that in my camera. Right is right, and that's how I keep track of which ones are full and which ones are empty. Next up, I have this little pouch with my variable ND filter in it. This is my Thai Photo variable ND filter, which I really like. And then in this little pouch, I also have a little place for microfiber cloth to clean off my filter or my lens. Now, typically I don't bring a lot of lights with me, but if I did need a light, I would use this little Sokani X21, super small, it's about the size of like a wallet or something like that. 
and it's actually pretty bright. And the CRI of this light is actually pretty good too. So I have a frost diffusion and a tungsten just in case I needed to switch up my lighting a little bit. So this is a great little light to just keep in your bag just in case. So as far as audio, I always have my little Comica VM10. This is a great little mic that I have on my camera 99% of the time. As far as audio recorders, I've had this Zoom H1 for like 10 years or something like that. And I don't typically do dual system sound, but when I do, I usually use this Zoom H1. And uh, yeah, I always have stickers on my stuff, so I know that it's mine. And then this is my wireless audio kit. This is my Comica Boom XD, these little mics. These didn't come with a case, but my Comica VM10 did. So this mic came with this case, but the, the wireless transmitting system doesn't come with a case. So I don't really need a case for this mic. And so I put these wireless transmitters in here and that's how I keep them safe from getting broken or anything like that. So, so last but not least, we're gonna talk about lenses and cameras. I don't really take a lot with me as far as lenses go. I have this one lens here, which this is the Panasonic 25 millimeter F1.7. It's a pretty cheap lens. It's like 150 bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah, I've standardized all of my smaller Micro Four Thirds lenses to a 62 millimeter filter thread. So that's what my variable ND filter is. And then that's what all of my little step up rings are. This lens is really great. I didn't like it at first because it had a lot of weird focusing issues, but there've been some firmware updates and those issues seem to have been resolved. So this is a great little prime lens, perfect for interviews or you know, isolating your subject a little bit more. And the only other lens that I typically bring with me is the one that's on my camera almost 100% of the time. And that is the DJI 15 millimeter F 1.7. Now, if I could only pick one lens, this would be the lens that I would pick. This gives me a 30 millimeter equivalent field of view, which is great because you can just about vlog with it, but you can also shoot an interview with it if you really wanted to. And yeah, as far as the camera, you all know, I shoot with the Panasonic GH3, great little camera super cheap these days because it's pretty old and it gives you a really good 1080p image. Basically all of my YouTube videos were shot with this camera. And uh, yeah, I have my little quick release that's standard with all of my rigs and tripods. That's basically it. That's all I have in my camera backpack. And this is not gonna be the same for every type of shooting that I'm gonna do. But if I was just going out into the mountains and I wanted to film some B-roll, you know, film a YouTube video, I could do it with all of this gear that I have in my backpack. If I was gonna go shoot a commercial or an interview or something like that, my gear would obviously be different, but typically this is what you would find in my backpack. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, it'd be really cool if you hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Once again, thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Again, you can click that link in the description for a two month free trial of a premium membership, which is rad. And uh, yeah, there's videos and playlists right here that you can check out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later.